my message to the uh, students um, and being um, first degree uh, graduates, I thought that we, I should impress upon them that there is more that they can do than just to go out find a job and uh, raise a family and buy whatever they need, you know, uh, or in the consumer culture. But they being graduates of Stevens, I thought that they have a bigger mission um, they have had a good education in uh, Stevens uh, and Stevens is, is a different uh, kind of institution. I thought it has a different kind of culture um, which is very innovative and entrepreneurial and uh, students should take up um, um, a sense of wanting to be a citizen of the world. They can do a lot more to help solve the problems of the world and that was the message that I wanted to give them. I, I quoted James Gardner, you know, he said don't give them cut flowers, teach them how to plant, uh, grow, grow their own plants and I said, you know, you should be thinking about what plants you want to grow, uh, not just in your garden but you must help other people grow plants where they are really needed. So that was my basic message to them. I hope they got it. <laughs> We are very uh, happy to be uh, working with Stevens. Uh, we we um, appreciate very much the kind of um, the culture that they have here in terms of uh, bringing innovations and giving new value to it, uh, particularly in the commercial sense. Uh, and they don't do it just by working with the technology but it's working with faculty and students to get everyone to, to think about uh, bringing their ideas to the marketplace and to let them know what it's like to take things to the marketplace. It's not easy but it's a whole process uh, and they integrate it in, in the, the teaching. And I think this is a really uh, wonderful way of getting students to appreciate what it's like in the world outside. And uh, so I, I, that's why we, um, we, we work very closely with them and we're trying to inject a little bit of this culture in my university. We work on um, many uh, in different areas. Um, the important one that we are working with them, uh, the project is capacity building for uh, academic entrepreneurship. The first phase we work with actual technology that our researchers have come up with and then work with them to actually try and see how we can take this to the marketplace. And uh, Stevens faculty has been very good in making our researchers understand that it's not just about doing research and um, publishing, but they really need to take their technology um, and understand that, um, that there is a process of understanding the market, what the market needs. So they, they need further development of the technology. And I think that's the beautiful part about the collaboration with Stevens because Stevens look at the, at the development, further development of the technology. Uh, Stevens doesn't just look at licensing. Uh, and you know, we don't want to do licensing either, you know, it's difficult to control and you don't know whether it's going to work. Uh, we will rather go the path that they're working with us uh, and that's the startup model where we still work with our technology, develop it, uh, let it cross this valley of death and then attract investors. And if they like it, we can sell off you know, spin out the companies. And I think that's a very wise way of uh, doing this rather than just do pure licensing. Malaysia has um, a, a target to meet by 2020. You know, we know we are, compared to countries in our region, uh, we used to be leading, but we found, you know, that we are falling behind and we, we we have set a target of like 16,000 um, income, you know, that's very high and there is a gap that we have to meet and uh, the way to go it is to do business unusual. You cannot be doing the way uh, we are doing things. So we have to 
unlearn and throw away many things. And we have to learn one very important thing. The, the, the fundamental way to go is through innovations, through entrepreneurship, to create jobs. And not to just throw out people and they go look for jobs, but really we must create jobs. And it's, it must be high income sort of jobs. So how would you do this? It would be through the technology. Technological innovations will be very important. And that's why we need a lot of engineers, a lot of scientists, a lot of researchers. But we also need people who are entrepreneurs, who will take these ideas to the market. I know my researchers, they are hopeless. I, <laughs> not all of them can become entrepreneurs. So we, we try to create, and I feel that having these technology-based companies in the long run, if this is what we nurture in the, in the country, in the long run, I think we can bring up. Because these are the companies that will create the jobs that are required, the really um, high salaries, that pay high salaries. Uh, and only in that way you can bring up the income that you want for the country. Otherwise, you know, we've been held back because we've been importing a lot of labour, cheap labour. And uh, employers like it, you know, but it's not doing anything to the country. But this is a way, it's painful, it will take some time, but I do believe this is the way to go. Uh, research has to be part of it. And if you bring it out, nurture this in the universities, um, they, it becomes a culture for them to continue to improve and innovate. And I think this is what we need for the country. And that's why we focus a lot on uh, science and engineering, but not forgetting the business side. So it's also business people, <laughs> but uh, with a sense of technology. This is the way to go to make people entrepreneurial, to make people innovative. You know, these words are bandied around so much. Be creative, be innovative, but how, you know? And I think Stevens is showing the way.